Hey guys, Amanda here at Fairbonds Living, and fall is definitely upon us. The air is crisp, the leaves are starting to turn, we have all of our windows open, and it feels great. Um, it's also apple season, and here I have a big bowl of apples that my mom brought me from her place up in Michigan that they grow, and I'm going to be turning these into applesauce because we ran out of the applesauce that I made from her apples last year. So it's time to restock our pantry with some delicious homemade homegrown applesauce. So it doesn't even seem right for me to call this a recipe because making applesauce is really simple. Um, I'm just going to be cutting up these apples, taking out the core. I'm going to just chop these up into smaller pieces and if there's any um, pieces that I don't want to consume, any brown pieces, I'll just take them out. And I'll just chop up all of these. I'm leaving the skin on for nutrients. These were grown without pesticides and things like that. So I'd like to keep all the nutrients I can in them. And I'll just chop these all up. And I'm going to stick them in my pot. And I just have to add a couple more things to make the make it applesauce but it's really pretty simple so here I have my pot full of the chopped apples. Um, I actually don't know the variety of these apples. Uh, my mom doesn't know what the what the tree is that or what the trees are that she has but it pretty much filled an entire Dutch oven um, and then with these scraps these cores I'm going to keep because Mike makes his own um, apple cider vinegar out of our apple cores. Um, but you don't want like these brown pieces. You can make apple cider vinegar out of scraps, which is totally fine. But you don't want rotten pieces, brown pieces in your apple cider vinegar, so all of those pieces will go to the chickens. But all the cores, the seeds, any skin, whatever, can all be used for apple cider vinegar. So then to this pot, I'm going to be adding a half a cup of packed brown sugar. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. along with a cup of apple juice or apple cider, whichever you have. And then the juice of one lemon, which I don't have a lemon on hand, I have lemon juice, so I'm going to use five tablespoons of lemon juice. And you can use four to five tablespoons of lemon juice, but I'm going to be canning this apple juice or apple sauce. So I don't mind the extra acidity to help protect my apple sauce while it's processed to keep the acidity up. So 
then I'm just going to stir this all up. Try to incorporate the cinnamon and the sugar, brown sugar, amongst the apples. And obviously we did not put very much uh, liquid. into these apples, uh, but they will cook down quite a bit pretty quickly, and I have no worries that any of these apples will not get cooked or seasoned because they're going to cook down pretty quick. I've made this recipe multiple times. is actually, uh, the recipe is actually a Pioneer Woman recipe, and I've used it for a handful of years now, so I know that it is good, and I know that it works. I've never canned it, I've always froze it, but as I'm trying to move away from freezer preserving, canning it today. So this is just after five minutes of cooking. You can see how much, you know, they were up to here, how much the volume has gone down, and how much more liquid is in these apples. And it's only been five minutes. So they're breaking down really fast. And they're almost all completely submerged now. And liquid. The apples have lots of liquid in them that were released by the apple juice and sugar. And we'll just keep Cooking this down, and we're still over medium. It's sizzling away. Obviously, the apples that are on top are not as mushy as those on the bottom, so I'm just going to keep kind of trying to rotate those so that they can get nice and thoroughly cooked. This is what I ended up with after my 25 minutes of cook time. Most everything is broken down. There's still some bigger chunks and some skin. Um, but now it's time to process this. Um, and in the past what I've done is used my food processor to chop it all up. Um, but my food processor tends to be picky about hot food in it. So I'm gonna see if I can use my immersion blender to chop this to the consistency yeah. that I want. turned out great. The immersion blender blended through everything. It's nice and smooth and ready to be canned. So I'm going to be canning these I think I think I'll probably do a couple quarts and a couple of pints. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to hot pack them, which means that the contents are hot and the jars themselves will be hot. 
and I'm going to give them a half inch head space and water bath, can them for 20 minutes. <laughs> Okay, so apparently I filmed that last portion without volume, but that was a totally easy recipe to follow. Just cut up some apples, cook them with some apple juice, lemon juice, sugar, and cinnamon, and blend it all together. Super easy, and you can do whatever you want with it. You don't have to can it, like I said before. I uh, froze, used to freeze mine, or you can just put these in the refrigerator and eat them as you want. Um, but today I'm going to be canning them. I came up with four pint jars with a half inch head space. And now I'm going to water cap water bath can these for 20 minutes in my new water bath canner that I got for my birthday. So once this comes to a boil, I will set my alarm for 20 minutes. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.